Hey guys, welcome back to the Earth series. In this video, we are going to talk about 9.4 Geohazard Phenomena. We can consider this Geohazard Phenomena as natural disasters. This is because earthquakes, volcanism, landslides, tsunami, and even global warming falls under this category. But in this video, we are just going to focus on earthquake and volcanism. Let's start off with earthquakes. It happens when the shaking of the ground caused by sudden collision, friction, or the separation of tectonic plates along fault lines. Its massive vibration in the ground are produced by strong endogenic energy in the Earth's crust. And it releases travels from the epic center in all directions in the form of seismic waves. These waves can be detected by a seismometer. The reading of a seismometer is referred to the writer's scale to determine the magnitude of the quake. If you see on the, on the left, you see a device that detects the Earth's motion due to the earthquake. Let's move on to volcanoism. Volcanoes have been, the rocks in the mantle will melt and become liquid rock or magma under very high pressure and temperature. As more magma accumulates, the convection of magma produces greater pressure and endogenic energy in the magma chamber. And so the magma that is less dense, it will rise above the solid rocks and is stored in the magma chamber. Volcanoism releases a lot of ash, magma, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, steam, and heat into the Earth's atmosphere. Magma that flows up, cools on the Earth's surface, and becomes lava. That is why most of the time, when we see a volcano erupt, it will spill a lot of ash, and even lava will come running down the volcano. Here's a diagram of the volcanoism. This is the crater that opens at the top of a volcano, and it spills up magma, ash, carbon dioxide, and steam through it. The magma also spurts out through the side of the vent. The main vent channels the magma out of the magma chamber, which is here. The magma consists of molten rocks, minerals, and dissolved gas stored in this chamber. Lava is a hot magma that erupts from the Earth's crust, and you can see it right here. The lava cools and solidifies on the Earth's surface. You see it's a hot substance. The pressure and temperature in the magma chamber increases and produces strong endogenic energy. And this is one advice, do not touch lava, you might burn yourself. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And before you leave, why not follow me on my Instagram and visit me on my blog. Thanks for watching. See you soon.